Papa Ken Media. Hello everyone, I'm Papa Ken and welcome to a brand new movie review. Today I'm going to be reviewing Gravity, or as Sandra Bullock might say, <laughs> Long story short, the movie involves two astronauts, one played by George Clooney, the other played by Sandra Bullock, and they basically get thrown adrift up in space from the spaceship. And if you've seen the trailers, you know that Sandra Bullock is kind of flying into space. She's... she doesn't have any gravity, which is kind of the opposite of what the name might imply. But anyway, let's get it right into the movie. Let's start with The Good. Visually, the movie is amazing, absolutely beautiful, and easily the most amazing looking film all year. In fact, it is the maybe the only movie that I will actually recommend and emphasize that you see it in 3D, and ideally on the biggest screen possible. Now that will bring me back to sort of a negative later, but like I said, if you're going to see it, see it on a huge screen and in 3D. Second, the acting is top-notch. It is great from all the actors. The characters are all well-written, even the more minor roles. You know, they're very believable and well-acted. So, yeah, that's... Everyone did a great job, especially Sandra Bullock, whose character goes through such dynamic changes. She does a great job, and she'll probably win an award for this role. Now, well, unfortunately, that brings us to the bad. The first is that you literally need to see this movie in a theater, again within 3D, and on a huge screen in order to get the full experience. Anyone that watches it at home, wait until it's out on DVD, you're not going to get the full experience unless you own a huge HD 3D TV and you have surround sound, because the movie just really asks for that, and uh, not everyone owns that unfortunately. And the final two points are spoilers, so, spoiler alert! The second main issue I have with this movie it involves a particular scene where both characters are drifting through space and they get to this satellite or space station and they're basically clinging on for dear life. Now the issue I have here is... Um, uh, George Clooney's character is going this way and Sandra Bullock grabs his leg and she's, her leg is wrapped around something else. Now, they're in zero gravity. Zero gravity. And in my mind, I'm not a physicist, but in my mind, when there's no gravity, if you get tugged upon in zero gravity, you should come back that way. Because that had been happening the rest of the movie when they were tethered together and he was using his little uh, pat to move forward. She would bounce that way and... Anyway, it's, he, it's it's like a cliffhanging scene in Zero Gravity, and just that, that really brought me out of the movie because I just sat there thinking, that's, that's not how Zero Gravity works. But uh, it just, it really bothered me. It was just a huge issue, one of very few in this movie. And third, it's really more of a weird moment than real, actually a problem, but George Clooney essentially gets to play Obi-Wan uh, in a particular scene, in a very use the force Luke moment. So that was weird, it kind of took me out of the movie. But overall, this movie really was great, absolutely beautiful, and honestly, it's one that if you want to see it, you need to see it in a theater. Again, in 3D, on a huge screen, ideally IMAX, but again, see it if you can. It's a great thriller, very well acted, just if you wait until it's out on DVD, you're not going to get the full experience and you may not enjoy it as much as you would have in a theater experience. Well everyone, thank you very much for watching this review. Let me know your thoughts below in the comments and I'll see you next review.